In this video, I'm gonna describe how to lift weights for fat loss, which is great for women over 40. Hello fam, and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal, and this channel is all about helping you, if you're a woman over 40, get in fantastic shape. And did you know that strength training is actually the best way to lose weight? I've been through a body transformation myself, and the way that I did this is primarily through lifting weights. In this video, I'm going to take you through my top six exercises that are great for burning fat, particularly for women over 40. And I'm going to show you the way that you can do them in the gym and at home. But before I do that, I just want to talk a little bit about why I recommend strength training for women over 40. And if you're like me, over 50, or even over 60, because what happens as we get older, our hormones start depleting. So hormones like estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. And one of the things that happens is we actually start losing muscle. And muscle is fantastic for helping us burn calories or burn fat. So it's a really good idea if we can actually put the muscle back on because that's gonna help us burn more calories and burn fat and just increase our metabolism. I've seen with my own body and the women that I work with really making some great transformation and doing that primarily through strength training as their main form of exercise. And the strength training exercise that I recommend are compound movements. And what are compound movements? Well, compound movements are movements that actually use multiple muscle groups. And so what that does is help you work lots of muscles all at the same time. And so that's going to be really effective as burning more calories, not only while you're doing the workout, but what strength training does is help us burn calories when we're just sitting around doing nothing. And if we've worked multiple muscle groups, that's really going to help boost that metabolism. So the first exercise, and this is something that should be in your repertoire, and there's lots of ways of doing it, and that's the squat. The squat not only works our lower body, it actually works our core and our upper body as we're doing the squat. It's great for our balance and stability. It's actually really good for our back because we're working our glutes. And it's an all-round exercise that's really going to help with our fitness and our strength. In the gym, we would typically use a barbell, and this is a back squat. The barbell is resting on our shoulders and feet are hip width apart and it's a good idea to go really low down as you can in the squat. Meanwhile, keep your back as straight as possible. To do a similar exercise at home, place two dumbbells, one on each holder, and do the same movement going really low to the ground. The next exercise I'm going to talk about is the hip thrust. And the hip thrust is all about working our glutes. And why is that important? Well, I've been reading a lot with this guy, Brett Contreras, and he talks about the glutes a lot. And what the glutes do, if we can strengthen our glutes, it actually prevents us from having back problems. And the problem with glutes, if we don't exercise them, once they become inactive, it can force us to overwork other parts of our body. And that's when we can develop back problems. Not only that, glutes are really important to be able to perform some of the common things that we do every day. So 
walking up the stairs, walking, running, and it's really great to exercise our glutes as well if we're into sports because they play a really important part in running, jumping, and all that activity. So it's not just about getting a bubble butt, that actually is a really important function to the glutes. So I want you to keep including that in your repertoire. I like to use a Smith machine when doing hip thrusts, but you can use a barbell. Ensure you are really squeezing at the top of the movement like I am here. And if you're doing this at the gym, don't be afraid to go really heavy. At home, you can position yourself on a sofa instead of a bench and you can use a dumbbell instead of a barbell or the smith machine. Use a cushion to protect yourself from bruising and you can see here I'm using a glute band which is adding an extra layer of difficulty. Next up, it's the RDL or the Romanian deadlift. Now, I love this exercise. It actually works your posterior chain, but you do find that like with any deadlift, you're gonna work your whole body doing a deadlift. But the standard deadlift is actually quite difficult to perform and get the technique right. So what I do in the programs that I run is I like to include a lot of RDLs or Romanian deadlifts because they can be done with dumbbells from home. But you're still hinging your hips, which is going to exercise that posterior chain, including your glutes, your lower back and your hamstrings but you don't run the risk so much of injuring your back as you can do with the standard deadlift. With the Romanian deadlift, we can lift the bar from the floor or I'm using a bit of a platform here. And this is because my hamstrings are quite tight, so I don't want to go all the way to the ground. We're hinging our hips and keeping our legs slightly bent, not completely straight, because that's a stiff leg deadlift. And this is the RDL with dumbbells from home. So you can see I've got them on a slight angle and this just makes it more comfortable to hold. It's the same technique. The knees are slightly bent and you hinge your hips. And remember to try and keep your back as straight as possible. And if you're interested in gaining muscle at the same time as losing weight, check out my Lean and Strong programme. Link is in the description. Next up, we've got the lateral pull down. And lateral pull downs are great for women because it's working your lats and widening the upper part of your back is going to give you that tapering and smaller waist which is what we want we want that hourglass figure don't we and what we can do because most of us won't have that kind of equipment at home to do a lateral pull down is we can do the pull up instead which is using the same muscles so a wide grip pull up the lateral pull down and the wide grip pull up actually work a lot of your overall back muscles. They work your core, your biceps and your triceps. You use a wide bar for the lateral pull down in a seated position. Keep your chest up and your back flat and you are leaning slightly backwards. Really focus on that mind-muscle connection and working the lats. At home, instead of a lateral pull-down, you can do a wide grip pull-up. And here I'm showing you how to use a resistance band to support you while you're doing it. So this is actually supporting your body weight if you can't do a pull-up unassisted. And when you feel confident doing that with the band, you can remove the band. 
Now I'm going to talk about the shoulder press. We mustn't be afraid of using dumbbells and going heavy on the shoulder press. Just like any other compound movement, it builds a strong core. It's going to strengthen our shoulders and growing our shoulders will give us the illusion of having a smaller waist. It's great for working all of our arms and our upper body. With the overhead shoulder press, you can choose to do it seated or standing. It doesn't really matter. In the lower part of the movement, try and bring your elbows all the way down so that they are on a right angle with the floor. And this exercise is the same whether you're performing it at home or at the gym. Finally, I'm going to talk about my favourite and that's walking lunges. Now, I know that lunges are not for everyone, particularly if you've got bad knees. But if you can do this, this is a great overall movement that's going to give you a fantastic workout that actually not only works most of your legs, so it's really good for your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, it's actually really good for your calves as well, but it works your upper body because you're having to move along and carry those dumbbells. It really does give you a cardio workout as well, so it's a great exercise. The important thing with walking lunges is get the technique right before you start taking the weight up and you can see that I'm going right down in the lunge and my knees are touching the floor. Keep your back straight so that you're upright. And the good thing about walking lunges is they can be done anywhere at home or at the gym or as you can see here outside. That was my top six strength training exercises that are great for burning fat. And do let me know in the comments section whether you do all of those exercises or is there something there that you haven't done before that you're now going to include. And please do hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and get the bell notification so you're notified when the videos first drop. And do also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok where I give daily updates about all this kind of information on weight loss and fitness for women over 40.